Welcome back, guys. I did order something. It's, be, it's actually going to be a month now, and I still haven't received it. And the reason for it, I believe they don't have them ready. They build them when they get ordered. But I did get some pieces from them, and here's the one piece I'll show you. And you'll know why I replaced that antenna. So, got this package here. As you guys can see, yep, it's from Van Black. And at first when I got this box, I thought it was the trunk, but it's the rack. And it's a new rack that goes on there that allows the, the new trunk that I ordered. Uh, I ordered the short, the chop trunk. It's not the razor and it's not the full size, it's the one in between. I think it'll look really good on my Challenger. It'll eliminate this, but I'm gonna hold on to that. So when I do wanna take the trunk off, I can always put this one on and still put some stuff on there. They do recommend that you order these. And my thought on it was, I thought it was something special. It came all apart into this bag and I actually put them together to make sure all the pieces were there. But this is the old piece that I took off. And if you look at it, it's the same make process. And I believe Indian put this, these things on when I ordered the rack from Indian. So same concept, of course these have screws on there these screws instead of me trying to use a uh, I think I don't know what it is a different uh, wrench on it the only thing I do recommend that a Van Black do on these things let me point them out to you so Indian has these things here so when you have this on the bike and I'll point it out here in a minute they have these things that slip over here just like that and it, and this actually is the back end of your trunk here and it doesn't like hit metal maybe it'll stop some of the vibration and stuff like that why they didn't put them things on there um, that's one of my recommendations that a Van Black actually accomplishes and I'm going to point it out here to you So as you can see here, this is the one from India. I've already loosened up a little bit, but these rubber things go right there. So when you put your saddlebags on, they're gonna be rubbing against these things right here. The rubber, not so much the metal. I put one on already. They do have a spec to them. I'm not sure. I'm gonna continue doing my video and check the specs, but I haven't really screwed them all the way down. This part right here is going to be after you put your saddlebag on and this actually screws on the inside of your saddlebag as you can see I put this on here and this is what Indian has when they put them on the Van Black didn't send these rubber things it's just metal so when you do put your saddlebag like I said it's going to lean on that metal and there'll be some rubbing there I think what Indian did really good they put these little rubber things and I'm not sure if it, Van Black missed that step or just eliminated that step completely. But I'm going to use the Indian ones on the new ones. I'm not going to send these ones back to Van Black because I already have them all. But I'm going to use the new ones um, on the new rack. That way I'm not actually going to take it out of the box and put it on yet. I'm gonna wait until I get my trunk. This is just the first step I'm gonna do. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna even unpack the um, the rack yet. Because they do have a policy. I think once you... Hi, um, and, the recording. There you go. So if you approach my house, you're gonna be recorded. Anyway, so that rack, once I put it on, I have 14 days to return it. Well, I'm going to wait until I get the trunk and do that whole installation at the same time. That way I have 14 days from 
receiving the truck, not every single piece. So stay tuned for that. I'm stoked about it. I did want it um, prior to some of these places I'm going to, but um, like anything else, I believe it's the paint job. So they match your paint for your bike. Mine's Thunder Pearl or Thunder Black. And so they do match paint from Indian Harley Van Black does. So if you go on their um, website or you check their videos out, they'll talk about that. And uh, hopefully, I'm stoked about it. Hopefully, the they are taking their time and doing that process really, really good. And I'm not going to have a problem because I did see one video and one guy was absolutely tearing up on Van Black that their paint jobs were bad, customer service was bad and everything. I hope I don't have that um, experience there. So I'm all stoked about it. Most of the stuff that I've read out there is really positive and it'll eliminate some of the bags I have and take some of the stuff out of my my side saddle bags out into the luggage day. I like to pack an extra helmet, some other gear, but it's hard for me to do that, especially in the winter time right now, uh, because it's just so much stuff I want to carry and I don't have that trunk. So I'm waiting for it. Hopefully I get it this week. Like all these guys, stay tuned and face the road. Okay, I got the package. Um, let's take a look at this package. Has stamps all over on top of this. Got stamps on the side, on top, on this side. Just tons of stamps. And looking at it, I'm like, oh, this must have came from overseas. Um, a couple dings in it. I haven't even opened the package up yet. I won't take a look at it because this is pretty dinged up over here. Hopefully, I mean, it's caved in, completely caved in. Um, not sure if, um, hopefully, nothing got damaged in there. Um, and half of the reason I order things is because I want America made products like you know American made make America great again that kind of thing right well looking at this is like customs declaration it's like it came from Hong Kong so uh, the company's in Pomona California and I'm thinking, well, didn't they make it in, in California and then ship it? Well, after reading their website, it does say they have a warehouse in California and Hong Kong. So, I, it makes no sense in getting this thing chipped all the way to Hong Kong and then back over here. Uh, for whatever reason, painters or whatever. But, so that's why... All these explains the all the stamps on here. So let's get the package opened up. Let's see what I get. Got to be real gentle with it because I'm not sure how deep um, the product is. Kind of lift it up a little bit, allow some space, just like that. Come on this side, same thing.
There we go. See so, how yeah, I've heard about Van Black um, having their products. What are you doing, Maggie? Anyways, having uh, their products really packaged really good. So, what's up, doggy? Um, looks pretty packaged in there, pretty good. Foam, foam. I can't throw these things on the ground because this dog wants to eat everything it sees on the ground. Well, this is kind of a big plastic thing. A Van Black. Maggie, trying to climb on the car. Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna probably. Oh, well, there we go. Flip this box around. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, I put the action camera on my chest here. Hopefully this come out better than me trying to hold and record at the same time here. Um, it's pretty well insulated. I'm trying to find the opening to this wrap here. Might have to flip it over here. Yep, it's right here. So let's get this wrap out. There we go, see? There we go. Might have to flip it over a couple times to get this wrap. One more time. Sorry for the view guys, you guys are just viewing all this wrap stuff. It's like coming down to the end here. See? Woohoo! What I'm going to do is just slip it out and maybe take this to the other end. Yep. Kind of works better. Well, I decided to get a, a pack, tour pack. I guess it's because winter time is coming and I I got so much stuff that I want to put, put on and take off because the weather gets here really cold and then it gets really nice and I got all this stuff that I'm trying to stuff and roll up and tie it down. Put in some loose stuff on my bike and you hate to leave it laying around when you go to different places, you know. It might come out and unfortunately be gone. Okay, not doing too good of a job here. Oh, there we go. Get this package here. Dog is just loving it. Look at her. She's down there trying to figure everything out. Maggie, what are you trying to do? Huh? Look. Well, I'm going to see if this. They said it's supposed to match the, the scheme of the paint. Looks pretty good. I might have to check it out when um, we get to um, to the point. But nothing came with the package here. And what's puzzling me, hopefully it's on the inside of the tour pack. This is Thunder Black. Not sure if, if the paint job is justifying it. There's the dog trying to eat everything. Okay, Maggie, watch out. Watch out, girl. Seems that it's locked. I don't have keys to it. So, and in the box, nothing came in the box. So it's like I can't open this thing. Um, <laughs> that's bizarre, right? Um, I have no keys for it. And it's, it seems that it's locked, so I can't even push this or open it. That's a bummer, right? Now I gotta get a hold of them and figure it out because nothing came in this box, nothing in the package, as we can see. Nothing came in this package here. And it's supposed to come with a pad, maybe it's coming. 
Maybe it hasn't came yet. I just figure it's inside the tour pack. The backrest. Um, I had a stitch, stitch in red. Supposed to have the rack up here. Um, and I don't see any pre-drill holes to put it on there. Gonna have to check my order and see where these keys are at. Just gonna have to give them a call tomorrow. Nothing's taped underneath it. No directions. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to this. Oh, there it goes. I just had to put a little pressure to it. Come on, let it be all be in there. Oh. Just had to be a little patient there, right? Okay. More stuff here, more stuff. Thank you. Here we go. And guess what? There's the keys. Yay. And the roll thing. I think this is to stick um, or extra sticky stuff for my um, liner. Huh. I just have to look at some of the directions here. Let's see. What else? Well, here's that backrest I was talking about. Ooh, super nice, huh? See, so this right there it's going to be attached to that back side there let me take this out I believe this is the plate the rack for on top sticker okay I'm going to set this aside close this because I don't want it to flip off and then this gets to put right there not gonna put it on there yet because I want to line the holes up. Don't want to scratch nothing up yet. There we go. Oh yeah, super nice. I'm stoked and I'm happy. Gonna have to check it out tomorrow in the daylight. Um, gotta get used to how to open this thing too. That was my problem here. Couldn't open it at first. Oh, okay, just separate it from the lid there. I just want to make sure everything's in order. Put the instructions back in. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to be polishing my bike, getting it all ready. Boy, I like the stitching. Super nice. They did a really good job on the stitching and the liner. The liner is actually, I'm not sure if it's synthetic or some type of leather, half leather, half synthetic. Probably gotta look at the website. But, looks super nice guys. What do you guys think? The light's probably not justifying some of this stuff, but let me see, get some more lighting that way. There we go. Point this away. How's that guys? What do you think of the lighting? on this red stitching there. I was gonna get orange, but my bike have a red line on the rims. So I figured I'd just get red. Oh yeah. And this is the rack or the plate, the plate, the mounting plate that gets put on for I could mount it to the bike or the, the rack that I had just received this past week here alrighty okay well let me close this see how easy it's just gonna let it go that goes there hmm kind of a little bit maybe I just not put in enough pressure to it okay that goes there you get the, the right movements to it and then you're okay with it it looks pretty good I'll have to check like in the lights like I said 
Um, can't tell if any scratches or blemishes or chips on it, but right now what I'm looking at is looks pretty good. All right, guys. Like always, you know, I'm gonna go. No, I'm not gonna face the road tonight. It's already getting late. Uh, and temperatures are dropping. I think I'm just gonna go drink a beer and get this all situated for tomorrow. Get my bike in here. Get it all polished. Um, and that'll be another video. I'll show you guys how I'm polishing it. But I like to take the the back seat off, the bags, polish the inside. Um, actually correcting cream to it and then polish it and clean it all up on both sides of the bags underneath the fender itself with the seat off gas tank fairing front fender i'm gonna get it all done this right here i probably don't have to do anything to it i'm gonna let it heal because i'm pretty sure it just got painted not too long ago let this heal and maybe after winter i'll probably end up um, polishing it up give it a really good shine and um, take some blemishes off if there's any looks pretty good right now what I can see okay make sure you stay tuned hit that bell for all my future videos um, that way you know when I'm posting them and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe helps my channel out give me some comments what do you guys think helps my channel out as well and until then guys um, I want to say it face the road Okay, Maggie, we got to turn the TV on. That way we can find out um, what needs to go first. Does it go on the outside of the trunk 
on top of the rack or does it go inside the trunk? So let's check out some YouTube videos, okay? Alrighty. There you go. Let's check out some YouTube. Here we go. Okay, let's see. What kind of YouTube channel should we watch? How to install. I think I've seen this before. I'm just going to go on my subscriptions. Let's see. Welcome back, Face Lopez. Okay, let's see. Okay. Well, we know that process already because I did that. Did that. All right, install our four spools. Uh, the four spools act as a four point docking for our uh, detachable bouncy rack. So, next step is to put it on. Next, we're going to install our bouncy racks. Uh, see, it comes black, come with chrome, and an attachable quite easy to put on. So, let's do my install. Once you install the bouncy rack, you're going to want to tighten this. You drill a lot tight. You need a 316 fit. 3 sixteenths, I use a millimeter. Okay, good to know. So once your mounting rack is installed, you want to lock it in with the safety ball. So you're going to thread it together, line up, line up the holes. And you want to secure it tightly with a 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths, that's what I got to use. Bag knobs. All right, just screw the knob and we're good to go. All right, so tighten them up. Okay, we're good to go. So the next step is to put the tour pack on the mounting rack. But before we do that, let me show you. Uh, Avonblatt has designed this especially for the Indians. For the Indian, you can install the OEM Harley Mount Tour Pack and the Avid Black Tour Pack. All right, so we got the Tour Pack, put it on the mountain rack. In a minute, I'm gonna show you how to use the interface plate to secure it. There's the plate. Okay. We use the interface plate to secure the trunk. Pretty easy installation. If you notice, there's a curve here. The curve faces the front. We just line it up and put the screws through. Okay, that's what I gotta do. Is put, take the liner out, put the plate inside. After the screws and washers are in there, all you need to do is tighten it up with your nuts at the bottom. With my nuts? All right, now we're gonna put the backrest back on. Okay. Uh, if you noticed here, there's three pre-drilled holes. This is a quick installation. We're just gonna put the nut on, tighten it up, and we're good. Okay. That was the installation of the King Travel Pack for the Indian. Uh, check your website. Uh, we can color back okay, there. I guess oh, I gotta go in the garage now. Now I know. Three sixteenth, the plate also, goes. King, okay. The the racer, the king being the biggest. All righty. So now I know what to do. So now I gotta do is it's a three sixteenth. It's not a five millimeter for them bolts. And also the plate goes inside the tour pack. But I got a liner, so I gotta take the liner out, put the plate there. The curved part goes towards the front, and then. Should be pretty simple by then. All right, let's go get it done. Okay, so I got three sixteenths now. Pretty much the same size as the other <laughs> the Allen. Looks like the metric fit a lot better. So I got one for this one. This one's gonna go over here. And the nut, I believe, is I got a 10 millimeter. So that'll work. So now I know the plate goes underneath this liner. So I got to take this liner out. What if I should take this tether off? Yeah. Let's see. So I'm going to have to take it off. Okay, so now I need a Phillips.
Here we go. it off went all the way up here sprung up so now I can take this off get the liner out now I can put this plate so there's a curve to it okay I see the curve means the curve goes over here just like that and Okay, nothing gets secure here. I think this goes on top of the, the rack and then the screws go through. So let's do that. Okay, let's get this on the... Trying to see how it sets in there. Gonna have to put some bolts. You go two, two, two to start off with. There we go. Stagger them. Okay. okay. Closes up, get two started. If I can find the other one now. Oop. So far, what do you guys think? Come up here. Should have a lock nut down here. Well, actually, this is the lock nut, but it should have a washer. Maybe the washer goes underneath. Check it out. I forgot about it with the video. So, got the pack on. Got that put on. Plates underneath here, secure. All I gotta do now is put the um, put the seat on, and this already has the the nuts behind here. So all I gotta do is line that up, and you know what? I might have to take the the liner out, or just kind of tilt it back. Just enough to get the uh, the nut on on the boat or the or the rest. I'm gonna see what size it is. Didn't say what size it is. It's this is a millimeter. So what size do I have here? This is a ten. So it's probably equivalent to I don't know maybe a five sixteenths. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try it this way. See if I can get it. Let's check it out. Okay, there's the holes. So I can probably get it. Let me see how many holes are there. Oops. One, two, and where's the third one? I guess the third one's going to be way over here, huh? One, two. Let me check it out. Let's look at it from this view. Oh. Okay, one, two, and the third one's way down there. Okay, that's one, two, and the third one. Gonna be, it's going to be right up there. Can you guys see that? Right there. So I'm pretty sure I can get this on without taking the whole liner out. Just got to line these holes up. 
How about if I line it up first? I want to make sure it lines up because I don't want to end up scratching the whole thing up. As long as I get one started, I think the other ones will follow. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'm going to get this hard one in, in here first. Okay, how about if I get another one in there? Kind of line things up here. Seems like it's kind of a awkward situation here. Should be a third one in here somewhere. It's not coming out. Hmm. Might have to take this liner out. Make things easier. Hmm. Some reason it's not coming out completely. I know I have it the right way. Maybe I got it backwards. I don't think so. Because that's the way the holes line up. It's just probably because it's brand new and it's so hard. Here, I'm going to take my camera off. It's on my chest here. I'm going to take it off because I don't want to bump it onto and scratch the whole, whole trunk lid here.